Okay, picking up with the hive work. As you can see, here's my queen excluder. It's really nothing more than a mesh. Just the width of a worker bee, but too narrow of a mesh for a queen to pass through. As you can see, all but a couple of the bees have left my top cover, or the inner cover. I'll just move them off. Use my hive tool to take care of that couple dead carcasses. And prep the landing spot here. With the clean queen excluder is what I plan to do. Probably shouldn't have added syrup since it's going to take it off almost right away. I'll store the top there for a moment. I'm going to break the hive between these two bodies. Whoops, didn't mean to drop it. That'll make them become of heightened awareness anyway that something's going on. A little bit of squirt in there with a bit of wrench. I'm just gonna lift both boxes off. Position directly on top of the excluder. Now we can look at a couple of these frames in this mixed, deep, medium box. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the burr comb at the top here. I'll store it right here where I can pick it up in a little bit. Keep the hive area clean. The reason I want to move this burr is because I would be putting a queen excluder right down at this area. They like the sweet of my hive tool. see right here where I have sheared open some drone comb. I don't see any mite on it. We're running around the tops of my frames. May not notice it. I'm new to this after 20 years. Don't have a real good idea what I'm looking for yet, but I'm learning. See the bees on the tool. Looking over the wax trying to figure out what's going on. probably hard to see from that camera angle, but there is cross comb between these frames. From the west, from the camera side, one, two, three mediums, one, two, three, four, five deeps from the nuke, and then two more mediums. What we're going to do is pull out another medium. As you can see, a bunch of bees have come up to the surface again. We'll chase them back down again. These frames are much well, more sticky. They've, they've just started to draw this outermost frame. That's fine. I'm going to put them that over here for now. Take the next one off. Drawing again the comb. Put a little bit of nectar and pollen in it. Don't see any bird going through. Enough open there for the queen to be there. I don't think so. We'll take a look at this one. I don't need to make them this close here. There we go. You can see some cat brood in here. Some larva. Through. 
perhaps eggs in these cells as well. A little bit of capped honey around here, propolis around this area, capped fruit toward the center. This next frame is one of the original beets. Amazing how the bees just disappear off the top of the hive when you give them a little bit of squirt. Get this broken apart. And I believe here's a good handhold to pick it up. The deep frame, brood, grown cone at the bottom. Here we go with brood. A lot of pollen, a lot of capped brood, a little bit of honey at the edges. And again, you can see the bird comb with a lot of drone cells in it. Oh, it looks like some maybe twelve eggs, maybe some clean cells here. Right there and there, but maybe not. Crops. to the light. They are empty of egg. They may only be grown. It does look like maybe some cream cells that were pulled out. I'm going to have to put this one back in in its place. Make a space here under here. Leave a little. Pull out the centermost hive. Center of the hive frame. Number two. Down, find the handhold where they won't argue with me about it. Again, a quite a heavy frame. Pollen around the outer edge, just a touch of honey, but it looks like fully capped brood all through the center. Uh, again, mostly fully capped brood, pollen around the edges. Well, she's got fully capped brood down here. May well be that she had moved to the box up above. Here's the other center frame. Well, just about caught a bee in my hide tool again. Isn't that funny how the bees just run right down inside the comb when you give them a squirt of that? All it is is sugar water with a little bit of the lemongrass flavor of honey be healthy. Some honey, pollen, and closed brood from the outside edge. Open area where brood is hatched. I'm not seeing anything with related to eggs in there. I'm not seeing egg in there at all. Might miss it, but I'm just not seeing it. And again, we have that same pattern, much more pollen in this side, but some open, a little bit of capped brood, the lower south corner there. But these open cells appear to just be cleaned and dry. Squeeze this down in here without injuring them if I can. Give them a chance to move away. See the bee in the hand? As long as you don't disturb them, they aren't going to be disturbing you. Take out this one. Break the red heat adhered cross comb. Again, cut down. Oops, the bee ran into me. Probably time to say goodnight. Now we can cut this between these two frames edges very easily. Okay, it's all pulled apart. Here seems to be a handhold. Not as heavy. A lot of drone comb in the bottom. 
empty cells in the middle, a little bit of capped fruit on the outer edges going into some honey and pollen. I see larva in the center here. Yeah, yep, there's eggs on the outer edge here too, so who knows where the queen is. Who knows. But if she's got this filled with eggs and larva, she's probably not on this side anymore. Almost an entirely empty area. And there's my queen. I think this is my queen right there. You see her right there? She's almost twice as long as the other bees. She's looking for cells to What I'm going to do is deliberately knock her off over here if I can find her again. Where is she? She's moving around quite rapidly. There she is. Okay. Okay, caused a bit of a disturbance here, knocking them off uncertainly. This will help them calm down a bit. Hooray, Daniel found his queen for the first time this year. When she went into this thing, guys in here will be disturbed and distressed because they won't smell their queen right away, I suppose. Put the frame back in. Make space for it. Try to pull these into the center as much as possible. disappeared right well right into this box when I dropped her in. I want to pick up the clean excluder as well. on top here so they're not a nuisance for putting this back in. It's said that you smash less bees moving boxes back on top of each other if you can slide them as opposed to lift them downward. You can maybe see how some of the bees just sort of move out of the way when that happens. There you go, the second sting. Pinch the bee clean my finger. So we'll come over here. You can see her stinger right there in my hand. I'm just going to pull it loose. The white thing is her body part including her Um, venom sack. So we'll have to scrape that away. You can see the the bee there on my finger. He's she's not certain what she wants to do yet. But I'll shake her back off in five. Okay, I'm not going to look in there again for the queen. I'm going to just assume that she is there. Knock those all off. That's in preparation for putting the 
connector feeder back in. I said nectar, it's not really nectar, it's a honey and water mixture mixed one to one. Put the top board back on. Try to get rid of this bee here. There we go, I can flip her off now. Put the off top board back in place, the inner cover. Put a little stick for ventilation and put these back on. Okay, so what I've done is found my queen, saw that there were egg and brood both in upper and lower. Well, let's see. Drawing wax and storing a little bit of nectar in here, in this topmost medium. In the center medium, there's so all definite brood, eggs, and other sorted goodies, indicating a healthy hive, pollen, and honey, and and um, some brood. And in the bottom, then I put the queen excluder on. Get that rearranged there. Got a sweat bead hanging around here now. He's looking for a snack, I think. Get this lined up again. Careful about just walking willy nilly to the front of the hive, because that is their flight path. So I have my queen excluder, which should hold the queen up here, which will let these frames in the bottom, the brood there, hatch, grow and hatch. And the, since there's no queen down here, I should not see eggs in there next time I open the hive in about a week or so. And that will be grand. Because then I can take the, take the deep frames out, set them out for the bees to steal from, to clean up. Or take it and harvest the honey that's in it and clean it or something. And at that I shall be able to move my remove my deep frames and remove the spacer and then I shall have an all medium hive. Clean up my wax here. I let this out. The ants would work at it, the bees would work at it. Okay. End of story.